So I made it to the garage today. Um, I have a little project today. Fuel pump in my orange truck took a shit and I needed to move the truck. So I'm gonna make a redneck fuel cell. Went to Lowe's, bought this bucket. And I'm just doing a test fit here. I'm gonna try and put these brass fittings in here. That's them. I'm going to try and maybe use these washers, but I'm going to try and mount a fuel pump to this, and that's going to be my fuel cell. Got a step bit. Look at that shit. Right in there. Probably didn't need the other fitting because it's tight in there. These lids are flimsy. Probably should get a uh, Home Depot lid. Don't know why it's not getting tighter. Be right back in a second. Okay, so far this is what I come up. You seen I had the two bulkheads in there. This is three eighths line. It's going to go to the five sixteenths return line on the truck. This is a uh, this is bigger, like five eighths or something. But I needed to get over these AN fittings, and then I just drilled through here. Quarter twenty bolt, just bolted it through. Drilled here for a vent. Same thing here. This is going to go to the feed. You know, power and ground. We're gonna see if it works, but right through here, I had to make a siphon tube. You can see down there, I gotta make sure that it's angled the right way so it sits in the fuel so it'll suck up every last drop. So I'm gonna clean out the bucket and I'm gonna pour some gas in there take the fuel lines off and see what we got going. Get the feed on the bottom, or the feed on the top and the return on the bottom hooked up. And it's working. You just seen I got the truck running off that uh, fuel tank I made. Um, pretty easy. I just thought of it. Um, put a little vent on the top of it, drilled that, mounted the fuel pump to the top of it. It was just a uh, a Walboro 255 inline pump. It was uh, it's half burnt out. It was in my car and uh, I got a replacement for it. It wasn't working too good, but it idled the car. But it was having problems keeping fuel pressure up, not RPMs. And it sounds a little weird, so I ditched it. So now I'm just going to use that in this bucket. And I got the truck running a couple minutes. It wasn't very long. It primed up. The truck started right up. So uh, I actually do have another fuel pump. It's in a parts truck outside. And instead of pulling that fuel pump and dropping the tank, that the parts truck has no bed on it, so I could just pull the pump out. But the other truck has a bed on it, so instead of dropping the tank, jacking it up, putting a uh, pump in there and then the lines are all crusty and rusty I have a brand new uh, fuel line kit for the truck but I know as soon as I touch it I want to end up having to do the fuel line kit 
in there. So I'm just going to put the pump off to the side when I have time. I'm going to pull it in a shop, do the fuel lines pump and everything, and uh, just run it how it is. Um, so now I can actually move the truck around, which is good because winter's coming. So I need to put the truck out back of the uh, garage so I can get the plow truck in and out of the shop. And uh, also I wanted to, uh, I have the parts truck's going to go on my trailer and I can't turn it where that truck is. So I need to be able to get it on straight so I have to use the driveway. Um, so the truck is able to move now so I could load that truck up on the trailer, uh, very the other truck up on the trailer very easily. The other thing good about this tank, you'll see it pretty soon. I'm going to use it to start this motor up on the stand. I'm going to show, I'm going to make a video out of uh, taking the stock harness and fuse box and just no bullshit, get it running in a couple hours with the pinout sheet. I'll give links and everything like that. So that's going to be a video coming. Uh, just like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.